Over the past three years, a consortium of five partners has collaborated on Project Redhus, a research project funded by the Research Council of Norway. The main purpose is to develop an automated remote ship survey using drones and AI. The project has had several test sessions on board cargo ships, and the final tests in Shanghai and Portugal have been a great success for the project. So in this project, we have uh, successfully implemented what we set out to do. We have uh, developed two types of drones. We have uh, NTNU, they have developed a fully autonomous drone for inspecting ballast tanks. Scout has developed a drone that will follow an inspection plan set up by human surveyors, where humans decide where do you want to do close-up points and which areas do you want to see, and then the Scout drone will execute it. The key findings of the project is that we have successfully implemented the main pipeline. So we are doing the planning remotely. We are executing the drone flight autonomously. We are running our algorithms for detecting potential defects, and we're visualizing all this to the surveyor. Shanghai are one of the yards where Cloudness, our partner, have their ships come in. We are here on a field trial to test the drone in a real environment. So we have worked a lot on the autonomous stack on the drone. It allows the drone to go autonomously between waypoints and in the end carry out an entire flight plan autonomously. So far, the test here in Shanghai has been very good. First of all, it's very good to test a drone in a real environment like this. They found some answers of what is working and what needs more work before the next test later this year. This week's uh, test went uh, very well for us. Uh, we were able to demonstrate everything that we had promised. In fact, our drone was able to uh, autonomously explore and inspect uh, multiple compartments of a ballast water tank uh, in quick succession. And also after completing the exploration and inspection, it was able to return autonomously to the starting point. Especially uh, important in this is the ability to pass through manholes, which uh, are extremely small openings uh, that connect multiple compartments of ballast tanks. Since ours is a research platform, uh, we definitely have to work a little bit uh, towards robustification of our solution, uh, as well as the user interface uh, to make it simpler for surveyors to directly use our platform. The main findings in this final demo is how smooth the drone operates when it is in autonomous mode. The surveyors will use the drones to get all the information they want from an asset and use this as a part of the decision-making process. The data collected by the drones are processed by AI algorithms to detect potential findings. For this project, DNV has developed computer vision algorithms for detecting corrosion, cracks and deformations. The algorithms highlight potential defects and assist the surveyor in the condition assessment. The data, including the defect indications and the 3D position, is visualized to the surveyor and also the ship owner to enable remote and transparent decision making. I think this week has been a true demonstration of how far we've come in the last three years since the inception of Project Red House. Uh, we've been able to witness and be a part of some incredible autonomous demonstrations of both the cargo tank and the ballast water tank as well. I think we actually have a, a tool that can be used with confidence um, for ship inspections going forward, especially in cargo tanks where access is, um, is limited at best uh, and other alternative access methods are very costly uh, and you're also exposing people to risks of working at height as well. Uh, so by the using of the, the, the drone, we've been able to uh, eliminate those. For Cloudness, safety is uh, always the top priority. So to be able to send in a drone uh, instead of uh, having people uh, climb and then do ballast tank inspection, that is one of the main reasons. The Red Hoose project has been uh, working uh, together on trying to demonstrate how we can do remote inspections and using autonomy and uh, flight plans uh, for having a more safer and uh, less time consuming 
inspections. For DNV, it has been crucial to have the other partners on board. Of course, DNV do not develop drone technology ourselves, and we inspect assets on, uh, for our customers. So it's been great to have both technology developers, Scout and NTNU, on board, as well as ship owners, Altera and Clavenes, who both are very open to trying out new technologies. Drones are already being used today for assisting humans that are doing inspections inside tanks. Some years down the line, we believe drones can enter the tanks by themselves and collect the necessary visual data and also do thickness measurements. So that can certainly reduce the amount of times we need to enter with humans.